need are some basic supplies. You just need something to draw with. It could be a marker, it could be a pencil, and some paper, and a hand. And it could be your hand, it could be somebody else's hand. But that's all you need, let's get started. All right, if you drew with me last time, we drew a contour line drawing of a shoe. And unfortunately, I didn't get to finish it because I have no clue what happened. Maybe the connection was bad. Hopefully today this video uploads and I don't have any problems with that. But instead of doing a live video, I'm just recording this literally like 20 minutes before I'm trying to post it. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. But the reason I really like contour line drawings is because it helps us to look at what we're drawing more than at our paper. So if you wanna draw something realistically, it's important for you to really look at what you're drawing. And not all artists draw, not all artists, I mean, it's not an important skill necessarily to be an artist, but I know there's a lot of you that really wanna learn how to draw. And so I'm gonna go over some basic skills and we're starting out with these contour line drawings. We'll do some gesture drawings. We'll talk about perspective. And a lot of you are interested in figure drawings. So we'll do that too. But today we're gonna to keep working with contour line drawings. This was a continuous contour line drawing. And today we're going to be doing a cross contour line drawing. So that's where the, it's the lines that go across um, something that has volume. So for example, the table is flat, so it's just a straight line. But once we hit an object, it kind of bumps up. So this is kind of what a hand would look like, right? I just traced it, I drew some straight lines on the surface, and then I bumped those cross contour lines across it. So today, um, we're gonna do a little practice using our hand. And then I want you to just grab an object in your house and try to do a cross contour line drawing of it. So I would start first with a contour line drawing. You don't need to do a continuous contour line drawing even though I think they look really cool. You can do whatever you want. To warm up, all you need is a paper and a pencil or a pen and we're just gonna do some quick little practices in the line quality. So we have a heavy line and a really light line. We have a rigid line and we have a loose line. So just practice drawing some of these lines. Maybe you're kind of stuck in a rigid rut or you're stuck in one of these ruts. You can try doing different things just to kind of warm up your hand and let it know that we are going to start drawing. And even with a pen, you can still get this heavy and light line. So this heavier line and this lighter line. I'm just pressing harder. So even though we're not using shading on this, it kind of looks like maybe this is in a shadow, a darker area, and this is not. So it almost seems like the dark, at least for me, the darker area kind of goes away and the lighter area comes towards me. Maybe it's opposite for you. So just do a, a couple practices. You can even just draw your name in cursive if you want. Once you do that, let's go ahead and start our drawing. And these videos are a little bit different than the ones I usually film. I wanted to do them live, but I did not have success <laughs> doing that. You can use a ruler if you would like, or just like a piece of paper. I'm just gonna draw a border around mine. You can see how nice uh, and straight my lines are. Not at all. I just like to start inside of this. You definitely don't have to use a box. You can if you want though. You can start with that and then you're gonna just put your hand on your paper. I'm gonna take off my watch. So nice. <laughs> I literally, be, I have been pulling my kids around on a sled in the backyard. All right, so go ahead and I'm gonna use my pencil and I'm gonna trace my hand really lightly. So go ahead and trace your hand or somebody else's hand. Okay, and this looks a little bit smaller than it probably should be. But remember again, this is a practice, so I don't want you to erase anything on this. Just practice with me, and then you can take this idea and you can draw some kind of object in your house. Fruit is really cool, bowls, something in your kitchen would be great. If you do want to use some kind of a ruler, you also could just use a piece of paper to keep your lines straight. So let me kind of show you what that looks like. Let me take that off too. All right. So here comes my line. If you had a ruler, this would be a little bit easier. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of a heavier line on the side of this. It's gonna get lighter as it comes up around the hand and then darker and then go away. Okay, so I should have bounced it maybe just a little bit more. You can make this bounce as much as you want. 
around that object. And you don't need to use a piece of paper. I'm just using it. So if you wanted to use a ruler, this is kind of what you would do. So I'm gonna move that paper now. And basically all you're gonna do is keep drawing. You can, if you don't wanna use a hand, you could trace some circles and bump it around the circles. If you were doing a circle really quick, let me just show you what that would look like. So if there's a circle right here and you're drawing these lines, once they hit that, the contour line now has to go around it, right? But once it goes to the middle, I mean, you might, these lines might start bouncing this other way, right? So do you see how these cross contour lines work? They kind of just indicate the form of something for us, which I really like. I think it's fun to draw and it's kind of relaxing actually to draw something like this. So we're creating form just by bouncing those lines. Okay, so back to your hand. Now what I want you to do is fill this line, this paper with these cross contour lines. You don't even have to draw all the way from the edge. You could just start on the hand. And once you hit the hand, you're just gonna bounce it around it. Okay, so we're just indicating the form. And you can use a heavier line in some parts, a lighter line. You don't have to, don't hold your pen the wrong way like me. Just remember once you hit it, that's when you bounce that line around that contour, that object. So you're trying to just indicate that this is not flat. And you could even be more precise, you know, a hand would probably be a little bit steeper there and maybe a little bit more smooth on the top and then it would bounce around and down. Maybe a hand is a little bit flatter than the arm and maybe the arm is rounder. So in that case, you can just make those lines a little bit more circular. And you kind of change my lines there. But really, if you have time, focus on that line quality and you can make it heavier and thinner. I think the fingers are kind of the funnest part. So try to get to those. I thought these drawing classes just might be fun for some of you that are stuck at home, that want to just practice drawing. Um, I used to teach high school, and so some of these lessons are like what I would have done with my high school students. The nice thing is, is that there's not a right or wrong way to do this. We're just practicing looking at the object and using lines to kind of define the shape or the form. And you could add color to this. What I think is kind of cool is if you like drew the hand and then maybe you just like had one section of these contour lines that were going across it and maybe even added color inside of those. You could do so many things with this. Okay, so this is, usually I would speed this up, but since I'm trying to make these fast, take your time with this. I'm just trying to draw fast so I can kind of finish this and give you the gist of what you should do for our project today. So how these tutorials will go is I'll kind of teach a skill or a technique, and then I'll give you maybe like an assignment <laughs> or like something where you can try these out on your own. And you could definitely put them closer together, the lines. See, now I'm trying to straighten these lines back out. If I had more time, I would make these a little bit more exact. And again, you can use a ruler if you want. Okay, so pretty simple. So this is just a contour line drawing, but it kind of looks 3D and it's kind of fun to do. So anyway, <laughs> that's basically the gist of this. Now go and grab some object in your house. It could be anything. I think um, fruit is really cool to do this assignment for. You can search for cross contour line drawing fruit and you will find a ton of really cool images of this technique. But go ahead, you can add color. You could add shading to this. You could take this wherever you want. But let's just practice looking at things. 
And tomorrow I'm going to show you a really cool watercolor technique actually for painting clouds. And I actually learned this in Zion a few weeks ago at a plain air workshop that I went to. So I wanted to share it with you. Um, and then next week we'll start with some more drawings and then Fridays I'm just going to do something different. It might be watercolor, it could be maybe a different technique or just something really random. But Monday through Thursday will be drawing. So have a great day. Thank you so much for drawing with me. And post your images to Instagram using hashtag Mr. Otter Studio. Drawings turned out well. Thank you so much for joining me today on Mr. Otter Studio. I'm going to be posting Monday through Thursday drawing tutorials and then Friday we'll do something different. Post your drawings to Instagram using hashtag Mr. Otter Studio and have a great day.